I'm the Owl. I'm the Muffin. And I'm the Archer. Welcome to the Quick Room. Cue intro. Cue intro. Alright, so our first topic today is publicity. A few things to believe that Oliver was dead, which I think is very cool and shows how loyal she is and how even though they knew, like, when he went to face Razal Ghul, that there was a huge chance that he was not coming back. Even after his three days, she still had the illusion that he was alive. And even when, like, Merlin was just, like, had to be for him, and she kept on saying, he's not dead. He's not dead. And I just, I love that bit. I like how she stands up to Merlin. She's yeah. like, no. Like, just no. She starts walking toward him, and I was like, you go. I go, you go, go on. You're so great. Like, listen, he punches Merlin in the face in one episode. I'm going to be so happy. That's the kind of day everyone makes a meeting. I like since she like walked up to him like this is your fault. You're responsible for this. Well, it is his fault. It is, I know, and I like that she called him out on it. Because then he was like, oh, Oliver's like family. Morale and Rich is like, well now that he's dead, now I'm dead. And like I love how Chris is like, good. Like, yeah. Good. <laughs> That's beautiful. Just, I, it was sad, but I did like that she was technically like the first person to walk out. And oh, yeah. her Carrie Burry and saying, like, if you do this, there is a good chance you're not going to come back. I love how she is so attached to all the people around her. Like, she just won't. She was barely okay with letting Oliver leave, but, like, she understood, like, family comes first, and then she's, like, goes up to Ray and she's, like, nope, not happening. Like, I'm not going to let you. She's so, like, not motherly in a sense, but she's got, like, really maternal instincts. Yeah. I think it's awesome. She's very caring. Yeah, she's those are, like, she's great. Alright, so next we're going to talk about the flashbacks, and first off, can we just say how hilarious it was when he ran into that window? Oh my god, I was laughing my head off. Lazarus Pit, Oliver, not dead. Yeah, um, a lot of people were expecting after the mid-season finale that Lazarus Pit was going to happen, and he was gonna like magically come back from the dead. Gonna go temporarily so insane. No, it's um, not. And that obviously never happened, which is awesome because That's he it. still has his scars. And Maseo's wife is it's beautiful. Alive. Um, Absolutely. And I think the moment I realized that he was not gonna die was when they were like, um, when after uh, Oliver saved Tasha's life by putting like the tracker in the guy's pants and. Um, Masai was like, I owe you my life. And I was like, Oliver's not dead. Like, this is beautiful. But yeah, I'm actually really happy that it's used the Lazarus pet because, mm -hmm. I mean, the show is really, really complicated. And I think to people who don't know, like, the comic world and stuff like that, and you can and are you familiar with just, the yeah, Lazarus pet. Um, it was just more, um, it was less complicated to just have Masai's wife cure him. Also, once you bring in the Lazarus pet, then you do have the chance for character regeneration like anytime that anyone dies. Yep. And so it's nice to know that we will have that cutoff saying, yes, Oliver died. But he, yes, came he came back to life, but that's not going to be it for every character. Mm -hmm. Speaking of dead characters, that mm -hmm. Tommy is going to be in like, what, the 60th episode, I believe? You don't know oh, how yeah. he's going back because, like, with the Three Ghosts episode, like, he came back oh. as a hallucination. Yeah. But the writers did say that he's coming back in a way that we won't expect it. Laurel's next, and yeah, I think the owl wanted to talk about oh, yeah. Laurel. Oh, yeah. Laurel. Laurel was my favorite part of this entire episode. She's so strong, she's getting so much better. All her potential is finally getting a new love. She, like, her friendship with Felicity is exactly what I wanted to see between the two of them, and it's like, happening. They're like friends, they aren't in competition anymore. We just need more of that. When she, like, beat that guy up, it was awesome. <laughs> Really excited to see how she keeps growing. Now we're gonna talk about the Merlins and love the Merlin. She just go and die. First, right off the bat, be a queen is queen. And I've said that so many times, but I'm gonna say it again because she is. Um, I really kind of I want to see Thea like she won't stand up to her dad just because she like she doesn't want to like because he's nice to her. It's, it's fine, but like I want to see her him try to take her and then punch her in the face. Or with the sword. Oh my gosh, she's so good with the sword. She's, she's amazing. She oh, learned like fighting like super fast. I'm really surprised. Same with Will Holland. Like to pick that up like that. Was yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Diggle. Oh, you missed Scooby. Um. <laughs> okay. I, I thought it was supposed to be good. <laughs> and he's like, I thought he was green. I was like, nope. There's two. 
I love that scene. Like, <laughs> it lightened up the content of the episode so much more that we st- we didn't see Diggle like just killing people. Um, we saw him miss, <laughs> which was awesome. And then Roy afterwards, I wasn't gonna say anything. anything. And then like he like hung up the hook because he's like I I can't do that. No, nope. he's nope. he needs a mask though. Uh-huh. Like, come on. Give Diggle a mask. We should start a hashtag. I love when, like, Merlin comes downstairs. They find Merlin in the foundry and, like, Diggle pulls the gun and lock it And then he's like, okay, you need to stop because, like, that that's just bothers me more than scares me. Just, just like, bang. bang. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, second one. And then Merlin's just like, nope. Okay. Alright, hands up. Alright, hands up. Alright, hands up. Anyway, I just feel like Roy is awesome. I've always loved Roy because uh, uh, the Muffin told me. That Roy Harper was an arrow, and I watched Young Justice, and I was really excited about it. Um, but he's different when I expected. He's really, um, it's it's really sad to see him like you know, have Oliver and like how it's affecting him, and then he's <laughs> drinking by himself and like the okay. morning. And the Tia yeah, asks him like, "What's wrong?" And you never oh, drink by yourself. Oh my gosh, no. But the fact that like Tia was just like worried about Oliver. I was like, I'm actually starting to get worried, as if she didn't just like run off to some island mm-hmm. and didn't contact Oliver. I'm like, like, it's been three days. I'm starting to worry. I mean, it's so sweet, and yeah, she should be worried, mostly because he died. The fact that like she asked Roy to talk to the Arrow. I'm just like, oh, oh yeah, that was oh, awesome. she sent me like six fan pictures. You asked. I did ask for them. But She's been like seven. It's because I tell her about the She always does. Yeah. But we're gonna cut off the fan fiction part. Yes. Oh my god, oh, that fan video you sent us? Oh my god. The song's on our top of my That killed me. I don't know if you guys know, but let's advertise this person because they are an amazing editor. Oh, um, not Lincoln. Yeah, it's the Just I'll Remember Felicity trailer. And it's I'll Remember. It's, yeah. And it's the so first one. sad. And holy. It killed them. I was already emotionally wrecked at the time she showed it to me. the first time I watched it. Mm-hmm. So I'll put a link in. Guys, no, I really want to talk about this bad guy. Okay, he's, she wants to okay. talk about that guy. Bad guy. I actually, I can't remember seeing him in the comics. Yeah, yeah, we've got, so we've got a new bad guy who's like a mob lord, I guess. He does not have the most ambitious goals. <laughs> so let's take over the glades. Sweet. You do that. Like, um, total original thought right there. <laughs> Way to go. Like, it's probably not even that hard. That's like the poorest part of town. I don't get why people would want to take over the glitz. The sand that you want to take over the city. Like, aim high, people. Like, aim high. <laughs> but he's, I guess he's going to be a really big part. Mother the Owl, the Archer, out. <laughs>